In March 2006, freelance journalist Mark Buchanan was working on a story to commemorate the opening of Cork's new airport terminal. In the course of his research, he stumbled across an extraordinary document. The page is taken from the airport's departure log for December 1982. Not only does it show that two British Harrier fighter jets took off from the airport that night, it also shows that they were accompanied by a Russian Air Force Antonov 225 aircraft. What is remarkable about this is the sheer size of this aircraft. To this day, experts doubt that such an aircraft could land in such a small airfield. Over the following six months, Buchanan made exhaustive inquiries trying to establish the events surrounding these bizarre entries. Having contacted the Irish Defence Forces, the Ministry for Defence, the RAF, the Russian Federation Air Force, the Irish and British air traffic controllers, no one would or could shed light on the activities surrounding these three aircraft. His next move was to place an advert in a number of local newspapers that serviced the south of Ireland. The response he got was mystifying. Nothing related to the activity at the airport, but he received dozens of replies related to other activity that took place that night. Most related to cars. People awoke in the morning to discover that their vehicle had been moved a few metres. There were also reports of power cables being cut and damage caused to bridges and roads. A number of witnesses also described seeing two huge trucks travelling in an easterly direction at high speed. They were accompanied by the Irish military. One witness even managed to film this giant convoy as it passed him. Was in these two giant trucks and were they in some way related to the strange events at the airport that night? Why were the authorities denying that these events even took place and what were British and Russian military aircraft doing at an airport in Neutral Ireland? By plotting the location of each eyewitness it is clear that the movement of the convoy was the reason that cars had been relocated and power lines had been cut. Whatever these two trucks were carrying that night, Irish military personnel made very sure that they had clear passage through the towns and villages of rural Ireland. Again Buchanan asked for the public's help. In an interview with radio host PJ Coogan in 2007 with radio station 96FM, he sought anyone who might have seen anything strange on that December night in 1982. This time he received a huge response and what he heard astonished him. Reports of strange lights in the sky, American and French warships seen in Kenmare Bay, Irish Coast Guard vehicles and personnel in remote areas of the west of Ireland, strange lights on the ground. And at last, an eyewitness came forward who had seen two huge trucks escorted by the Irish Army drive into Cork Airport at a very high speed. I remember that winter night back in 1982. There was a taxi driver walking up at the airport. We were waiting for the last flights to come in. This huge jet had arrived and two small little fighter jets with it and it landed. They parked it away down at the end of the runway. A load of army and cops and police arrived as well and they moved everybody away from the road. So they all the cars out of the way, moved all the people back. Nobody knew what was going on. And with that, there was over the top of the hill came a load of army jeeps, police with their lights flashing, two huge trucks. There was no stopping, they went straight down the road, out onto the runway, down to this plane which was parked way down at the other end of the runway. And they couldn't really see what was going on because it was so dark, but the two trucks just drove straight into the plane. And they straight away, they closed it up, they turned it around and they just took off. It was the strangest thing I've ever seen.
having established a direct link between the road convoy and the Russian Antonov aircraft at Cork Airport. Buchanan turned his attention to a number of fascinating eyewitness accounts that he received from a small area in one of the most westerly points of Ireland. I put on my boots and I went up the yard there to see what the dogs were barking at. And they were down the road below, there was a line of trucks. I had the helicopter coming in, I had it before, like they were around at some rescue thing. But it came around and then headed off southeast away, that way. When I, I, I was watching this, this little light, and it was just only like a star, and uh, like a moving star. And, it headed away well west first of all, and then it seemed to turn and come back to coming, seemed to be coming straight towards me, like, and coming towards the headland, stood way out over the water. Then suddenly the noise stopped. There wasn't a sound at all. You could, you could, you could hear the waves break below the shore. The next, up comes all these bright lights, fierce bright lights up into the sort of lighting up, whatever was lighting down there. You couldn't see the lights, like, we could see the beams of them shining up into the sky. And you could hear all the engines starting up again, the big heavy engines and the trucks. And oh, very soon after there was three or four of these trucks came up over the hill, tearing into the head of the speed. And uh, then after a bit, the two big ones came up. You could hear the engine roaring as they were pulling up the other side and came down this side and again up past the house. The following morning I decided that they would best go to and have a look. But all I could find was just the tracks these big hay trucks had dug up the green grass of that old grassy road of ours. And there was nothing to be seen at all on the other side. Nothing. I was seeing a patient out there on, on the headland and um, I, uh, I came out to my car and the first thing I saw was two ships out in the harbour. Um, I could see the lights. And um, just after that, then I saw a, a light in the sky, like um, a helicopter moving towards me, but it was making uh, no sound at all. And uh, then it, it turned and headed back inland. And just after it turned, these huge giant lights um, blazed up into the sky from the headland on the other side. And uh, it landed over there where those bright lights were. 